So the goal for Highland Echoes is to promote Scottish culture and traditions. And the way we do that is by showing people how wonderful the traditions and the culture are by giving them Scottish dance, Scottish bagpiping, Scots Gaelic music, and all of the comfortable traditions that also relate to North Carolina traditions. In the show Highland Echoes, we portray a lot of the traditions of Scotland by the dances we choose and the music that we choose. So if we can share with everyone a performance that's inspiring and touching and makes people in the audience feel like, oh yeah, this is a part of me. I, re I did this as a child too. I remember my grandmother telling me this. It makes everybody feel like they belong to something. The truth is I'm like many North Carolinians and part of my ancestry is Scottish and part of our family came over in the 1700s like many other North Carolinians. So why it's important to me, why Scottish traditions are important to me is because it's a part of all of us without realizing it. And I think once we realize where something comes from, it has a lot more value. We're doing what we can to, to, to pass on this culture and tradition to a new generation. You know, I was affected by that. I have Scottish ancestry, which goes all the way back to the island of Skye, to the island of Lewis, to a place called Glenelg in the West Highlands, as well as some Lowland and Ulster Scots as well. So I'm very proud, particularly of that Highland ancestry. Really what's inspiring to be a part of the Highland Echoes tour is the fact that with Scottish Highland dancing, we get a chance to share our love for the Highland dancing through the music and through the movements. And it's nice to see an audience that's very diverse. So especially if there's young dancers in the audience, you get the opportunity to show what Scottish Highland dancing can do and how it can grow and evolve from not just basic traditional movements, but to also a little bit more contemporary and exciting movements to keep it moving forward and keep the interest alive. Some of the ways that people are getting involved with the show itself is that we are inviting dance groups from each town we visit. We're inviting them to come up on stage and perform a very traditional Scottish dance so that the audiences can see that there is local community involvement. So with the nonprofit Highland Echoes, we have a program that we are giving to schools. And the program is actually a cultural celebration unit for K through five elementary schools. It's called Scotland in the Class, and it's a program where the teachers have access to lessons, materials, and resources. So all of these lessons just really help reinforce the Scottish culture in North Carolina. And eventually, after their elementary school education, they really know a lot about Scottish history because it wasn't just something that happened in one class. The feeling when you're on stage dancing, you feel almost like a super person because if you love something that much, even if you're really tired, you don't feel that. You feel this joy, you feel the energy, you feel the vibe, and you just kind of want to like, like let it out. So hopefully that gets reflected in the dancing, you know, <laughs> that's what we try to do. There's something so powerful and overwhelming to see dancers that I grew up dancing with and doing a dance that has been a part of my life since I was a little girl and singing in Scots Gaelic, which is so meaningful to me. And the fact that we can put that together and share it with an audience who may or may not have ever heard of Scots Gaelic. What I hope to pass down to my kids and really any classroom that I ever go in and teach is respect for diversity. I think it's so important internally to be able to have an open heart and to accept something that's different. If people look back and try to connect with their own heritage, uh, if they identify with, uh, with a Scottish background or an Irish background or whatever the ethnicity may be, I think in a lot of ways that that music can speak to their soul.
Once you start to understand one culture and how it's different and how it's similar, it starts to open up your mind to be able to respect other cultures. And I, I just think that's truly important.